If you have a shifted belly button, you were born to be a great swimmer or runner. The navel is your very own center of gravity. Where it's located higher than average, you have a longer waist and a lifted center of gravity. That makes you a faster runner. If your belly button is shifted down instead, you have more power in your torso. A longer torso also helps you make a bigger wave. That makes you a faster swimmer and a naval hero. Yeah. Gray is one of the rarest eye colors on the planet. If you're one of that gray-eyed 1%, your eyes have almost no melanin in the front layer of your iris. Depending on what color you're wearing, your eyes can actually change color from gray to blue to green. Your pupils can also get larger when you're getting emotional. Studies show that gray-eyed people are more competitive. If you have brown eyes, you're in solid company. Way back in the day, everyone on the planet had brown eyes. Some scientists think that back then, most humans lived in warm climates, and brown eyes gave them more protection against the sun. Brown-eyed people are great at activities that need quick reaction times, like boxing or soccer or whack-a-mole. Blue-eyed people are good learners and strategic thinkers. They're also good at sports like golf and cross-country running. The easiest way to find out if you're a mutant is to push your pinky and thumb together. If a long, thin muscle pops out on the inside of your wrist, you're totally normal. If it doesn't, you have a mutation. So, what's your new mutant power? Literally nothing. You and 15% of the population are missing a muscle that helped our ancestors swing from branch to branch. Since that's a pretty useful skill these days, that muscle's just disappeared from over 117 million people's arms. It's a good reminder that evolution is still going on and that it's a pretty slow process. Now, if you have a double layer of eyelashes, you inherited this mutation from one of your parents. It means your 16th chromosome got mixed up a bit. You might have a full second set of eyelashes or just a few extras. Before you start getting jealous, remember it can cause extra tearing and even impair your vision. 90% of people have clockwise hair whorls. If yours goes in the opposite direction, you're probably also left-handed. Scientists think that the same genetic mutation is responsible for handedness and hair whirl direction. Some people have double whirls, which is even rarer. The superpower of twisting your tongue is rare, but not passed down genetically. You're more likely to be able to fold, roll, and turn your tongue if you speak certain languages or multiple languages. The cloverleaf tongue is the most complicated. Get to a mirror and find out if you can pull it off. People who have clearly asymmetrical faces, like one ear higher than the other, for example, are natural and effective leaders. They show initiative and take responsibility, motivate others, and put the interests of the group above their own. Photo time! If you think your right side is your good side, you're most likely an engineer, mathematician, chemist, or other sciency type. If your left side is the one you go with, you're more of the artsy type. Only 2% of us have naturally red hair. If you're born red-haired, it means both your parents are carrying the gene, even if they don't have red hair themselves. These genes give redheads a lower pain threshold. That's why they need more anesthetic than people with blonde, brown, or black hair. If you have a large nose, you're less likely to have allergies and colds. A larger nose lets in fewer pollutants and pollens and protects your mouth from germs. Ancient Greeks and Romans thought large noses were a symbol of power and strength. If you have a small nose, you're more likely to work smart instead of hard. You like to get things done, and you're not into spending ages on one tiny problem. If your nose is scooped with a turned-up tip, you're a generous and sentimental person. Your family and friends mean the world to you. You inherited your sneezing style from one of your parents. If you sneeze just once at a time and turn your head straight away, you're caring and supportive. If you sneeze loudly and proudly, you're a natural leader. You get things done. If you carry tissues and cover your mouth when sneezing, you are a careful and deep-thinking individual. Sneezers who are always trying to break their record of seven times in a row are charismatic and social. They like to inspire others. 
You're more likely to have a college degree if you're born with a larger forehead. No word yet on if that means you're smarter, though. Scientists analyzed the connection between head size, genes, and IQ. So far, it looks like it's true. If your face is wide rather than long, you have great negotiating skills. That skill helps people with wider faces make more money than their narrow-faced pals. Those with a round face appear innocent and trustworthy. If that's you, you're most likely selfless and put the needs of others before your own. And you're likely to snore more. If your face is a pretty oval shape, you're most definitely an extrovert and a highly likable person. You always know what to say to make others feel relaxed. A triangular face with a narrow forehead and a wide jaw is one of the rarest. It makes you look powerful. You're driven, determined, and destined to rule. At the same time, you're creative, artistic, and you freak out pretty easily. If sweet things taste sweeter to you and salty taste saltier, you're probably one of the 25% of the population that are super tasters. This superpower is given to you by extra tiny dots on your tongue, known as taste buds. Super tasters don't normally eat foods like broccoli, cabbage, spinach, grapefruit, and coffee. They taste too bitter. Regular spicy food is way too spicy for their taste buds. Still, it's probably better than being a non-taster. That's when foods just seem tasteless and don't give you any pleasure. If you have long eyebrows, you're a great friend and listener. You really care about others and enjoy helping them. You aren't afraid of responsibility and handle big tasks with ease. You're also pretty competitive. People who have thin eyebrows often doubt themselves and are more careful about every step they take. They care about other people's opinion, even if they know they're right. If your eyebrows are thick, you're most definitely confident and quick-witted. You don't like to park your brain on one task and get angry when someone tries to hold you back. You're active and forward-thinking. Folks with high and super-curved eyebrows aren't that easy to approach. They like to keep their distance. In reality, they just need more time to get comfortable with you. They strive for perfection and have great taste. If your eyebrows are somewhat low and close to your eye, you're easygoing and mix with people well. You're always true to your word. You also like to help others achieve their goals. Now, if your second toe's shorter than your big toe, you have what's called Morton's toe, just like the Statue of Liberty herself. In some places, it's pretty common. In others, it's kind of rare. Morton's toe can affect your posture and how you walk. Try to wear shoes with a high and wide toed box to stop that toe from getting crammed and crushed. Add some swimming and biking into your routine. It'll help even out the tension on your foot. Those with high arched feet are independent and self-sufficient. If your arches are lower, you're most likely outgoing and need the company of others to feel comfortable. If you have similar length toes and overall wide feet, you've got a sweet case of Roman foot. You were born to travel the world and explore new cultures. You're outgoing and make friends easily. If your feet are elongated and your big toe tapers off, you're probably one of those deep thinkers. Your mood changes a lot, and you can probably take surprising and spontaneous decisions.